Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us across the fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. There hasn't been a lot of good news to report about Vermont's dairy industry, but the story is far from over. When the tale of dairy farming in 2020 gets told, one word that's sure to be repeated is resilience. Farming is what farmers do, no matter their age or experience. That's what we found when we visited with young farmers and recent UVM graduates and the 110 cows in their care. Here's Keith Silva. The cows who call the UVM Miller Farm on Spear Street home may pause for the camera, but they don't stop for long. The same goes for the people who care for them. We are out milking the cows twice a day, keeping them fed. The cows that are pregnant are still gonna birth, so that's what all the farms out here are doing. You can't just stop. Except in this story, stopping is exactly what happened. The University of Vermont is asking all of its students to leave town, even those who live off campus. While on Students can leave town, cows can't. These cows are the responsibility of the Cooperative for Real Education and Agricultural Management, or CREAM. It's a two-semester course in which UVM undergraduates run the farm. Without CREAM, this dairy farm isn't quite the same. There certainly was never a missed milking or a missed feeding or a missed chore of any kind. Stephen Wadsworth is a veterinarian at Northwest Veterinary Associates in St. Albans and the CREAM interim faculty advisor. When the university uh, essentially shut down, um, we had nobody to run the farm. So the students do all the labor. They are the labor force here. We were. Uh, incredibly fortunate to have a group of students who had been working here in the past, who had been you know, kind of graduates of the CREAM program, who stepped up and said, we can help. Well, they didn't need any training, they already knew what needed to be done, and uh, though they're being compensated, they were in effect volunteers. They volunteered to, to uh, spend the last semester and, and into this uh, through the summer. So it's actually been a very smooth transition. CREAM is a program at UVM's College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. In a normal year, CREAM employs 17 students. The work of 17 is now being done by less than half that, but the passion for the farm and the cows has more than doubled. My name's Andy Jalbert. I'm uh, from Portland, Maine, and I'm UVM 2020 grad from the Animal Science Program. I'll be in veterinary school in the fall if that meets. If not, I'll be doing that online, which is you know, that, that'll come when it'll come, but I just got to keep myself busy, keep working, and I like working with dairy animals, so I can do that here, so that's pretty fun. I am Claudia Sachs. I'm from McCungee, Pennsylvania. I graduated this past May, um, and I'm working on the farm for the summer. I had a couple interviews at home, actually, to work for this various nature centers over the summer doing environmental education, but as soon as I found out that, you know, we would be needing help here, immediately I, you know, kind of wrote letters to those um, employers saying, you know, I'm sorry, but I need to work at this farm over the summer. Jalbert and Sachs, both green graduates, are part of a team of seven running the farm this summer. They're being paid slightly above Vermont's minimum wage. They're helped out by the farm's manager, Matt Lodette, and Dr. Wadsworth. Other than that, it's all their call. Working here for the summer doesn't seem like a sacrifice for these two. It feels more akin to what family does for family. When this all shut down, you could see that so many students came and asked Matt if he needed a hand or just making sure that everyone was doing all right. So it is kind of like almost a little little family of people, I guess. People don't really leave ever. <laughs> I think it's, you're always in the loop. I'm always getting texts from people I know graduated a few years ago asking about how a certain cow or making sure like everything's going all right. I owe so much that I've learned about myself to the farm and the people here. Um, I've learned, you know, kindness and love from Dr. Wadsworth and Matt and Scott um, and all the advisors that we've had. Um, and I, I felt as though anything that I could give back to the program, whether it's paid or unpaid, you know, I owe it to the farm to do that. Wadsworth has been the faculty advisor for less than a year. He's seen the value that hard work and hands-on learning instills in the students. But it's his experience as a veterinarian for twice as long as most of his students have been alive, that proves why cream is invaluable. The most important thing I think they get from this program is relationships, how to do relationships well. And there's not a job in this world that 
isn't predicated on good relationships. And particularly in veterinary medicine, when I'm working with dairy farmers who uh, right now particularly are under enormous stress, if you don't have their trust and you don't interact with them with integrity and honesty and openness, um, and I really emphasize that in this program, that um, we're not just building young veterinarians, uh, we're building young, solid people. I think I fared the best out of this whole pandemic situation because my time here has been extended. I'm hoping to go into education, working at a summer camp in environmental education probably would have looked really nice on a resume. I would always give up any of that to come back here. Some of the best friends I've met, I've met at Cream. You know, I think a lot of people care about the work they're doing at the farm and they take pride in that so they continue to care about how the farm is being taken care of. The work of farmers doesn't stop for bad weather, a slow economy, or a global pandemic. The same goes for the CREAM program. No matter if they're students or recent graduates, CREAM always rises to the top. In Burlington, I'm Keith Silva with Across the Fence.